Today I'm going to build these shuttle box shells. The first step was break down the sheet of plywood into six inch wide planks. I used a speed square to mark the width and then this circular saw guide with the saw to make all the cuts. I think I made a total of five of these strips. Here I'm cutting the planks down to a uh, rough length for each piece and then coming back and cutting the angles in at the final lengths. After getting all of those pieces cut, I sanded every piece down to 120 grit. So two of these shells will be stained and two will have just a couple coats of polycrylic. Here I'm assembling the two that will just have the polycrylic. So I tried a few methods of assembly for these and none of them seem to be necessarily better than the other. So if you do reproduce them, just whatever method makes sense to you at the time should be just fine. When those two were assembled, I stained the inside of the other two before assembly to avoid any problems with the inside corners because I was using a wiping stain and it tends to get a little messy. After giving that stain some time to set up, I went ahead and assembled these two in a completely different way than the other two. This one worked just as well. So I had some gaps in some of my joints, so I filled them with glue and then sanded around them to embed the sawdust in the glue. This method of filler is phenomenal. It works every time for me. I love it. Highly recommend. Here I used tape to keep it off the surface of the wood. That was a great idea. Apparently I forgot to film either coat of polycrylic going on, but here I am sanding in between those coats. I also forgot to film the rest of the staining process, so just trust that that happened. But here I am trimming up the edge banding just before staining. Alright, and our last step was to use the keyhole bit to make some hidden mounting spots for the screws. And after this, they were done. <laughs> I am really happy with the way these came out. If you wanted to replicate them, I'll have a guide on my website linked in the description. Also, if you like this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can see my upcoming projects. You can also find me on Instagram for more regular project updates. Thanks. Bye.